What's up guys? Thanks for coming back for our second vlog video. Uh, today we have a very uninteresting Saturday on the books for you. We've got Bill's preseason game number two. A <laughs> little bit of shopping with Ellie and Aaron's. Uh, but before we get into it, make sure you go below, like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see us do next. All right? Totally. You ready? Ready. Happy Saturday. Some scrambled eggs. Are you? Are you? Are or a you, breakfast sandwich? Are you videoing? Yeah. Um, breakfast sandwich. Breakfast sandwich. Yeah. Awesome. Watching the Bills game. Reppy's hanging out on the couch. There's my grocery list. And I'm just about to head out to my Saturday, every single Saturday, um, errands. Gonna go grocery shopping with my mom, so you'll see her soon. Here we are. Hi, mom. On our way to your Saturday errands. grocery store I was inspired to do a little bit of a grocery haul when I came home yeah a lot of people don't know this but I've had like a major problem with my gut lately um, when I was when we were in Jamaica I got really sick and um, had a really hard time eating anything and drinking anything and I figured it was just Jamaica and it was just being out of the country but I got home it got worse and worse and um, just progressed to the point where I was having such horrible stomach problems and issues with my gut that I literally like couldn't eat anything and I couldn't figure out what it was. I've totally changed everything that I've been putting into my body and I have learned so much about my gut health. And one of like my biggest passions lately is grocery shopping. Like I could spend all my time and energy in the grocery store like looking at labels and learning about food and finding things that make me feel good. And share my grocery haul, share my story, and share what is working for me. So um, when I got home from Jamaica, I w was really sick and really struggling. I had no idea what to do. Um, but the first thing that I did was I cut out gluten and dairy, but I was still waking up in the night with like discomfort and just all kinds of yucky stuff. Um, so then I started doing like a ton of research and figuring out like how to reset your gut and you know all that kind of stuff i won't go into crazy detail because there are so many aspects of it but then i did to eliminate all processed oils um additives gums fillers all that kind of stuff that's in food like that's in good food or food that we think is good organic food and stuff like that so um long story short i feel like a new person i have had no stomach problems I, my like gut is like completely reset. Um, I don't wake up with discomfort. I don't have any IBS issues. It's just like changed everything for me. So let me do, give my grocery haul and share some of the stuff that I got and what I love and what works. And maybe it will inspire you too. So I guess I'll start with here. I um, now get all of my eggs from a local 
um, just like a little farmer's market where all they're all free range, fresh eggs, organic eggs. Um, I got two onions too because we eat onions here. I literally load everything up with onions, it's like my favorite food. Um, fresh local honey is like the main, it's like the only sugar that I'll put into like, I don't know if I'm baking or whatnot. And then two fresh jalapenos. It's funny, like I have completely reset my gut, um, but I can still eat like potato chips, which is amazing. And that's because like these potato chips are made with two ingredients, two ingredients. It's just like mind blowing to me and it gets me so excited. Um, potatoes and avocado oil. There's probably not like the healthiest thing. You're not gonna lose weight by eating these, but my goal is not to lose weight and um, my goal is to feel good and I feel really good. Like I could probably eat like half of this bag and feel fine. My favorite snack is chips and salsa and I have a really hard time with Tostitos. I get re really bloated really fast. Um, so this is like a good Tostitos alternative. It's a, a tortilla chip and it has avocado oil, coconut flour, chia seed, sea salt, lime oil. That's it. Um, so another really good option there. These are for my husband. <laughs> Brennan loves <laughs> snacks. Um, I also get like, Brennan totally like eats the way I do. Like all of our meals are cooked in this healthy way, but he, he, I still get him what he loves. Like he loves Tostitos and Cheez-Its. I just can't eat them. They make me sick, but. Ooh, I found these today for the first time. They're grain-free grain clusters, and it's just like um, granola, but one thing that I learned is like almost all organic gluten-free granola is loaded with junk, and so I haven't been able to find a good one. I, these are granola clusters, and they have almonds, coconut honey, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut oil, almond extract, and it's amazing. Just cheese for Brennan. Oh, I found this really fun um, dairy-free cream cheese, and I've it's been such a battle for me to find like dairy-free cheeses and like dairy-free dairy products that are not loaded with junk. Um, so this is made with some really good stuff. It's like an almond milk base. Um, so I'm excited to try that. We've been doing these Greek bowls once a week that are so good with like quinoa and chicken and all that kind of stuff for dinner. So I got some hummus for that. The rest of my bag just has produce in it. So just like spinach, carrots, um, raspberries, things like that, bananas. Um, okay, I'm just gonna just move forward to what I'm like most excited about. Like clean salsas. It's so interesting. I always thought salsa was like totally fine because it was like all vegetables, but every when I opened up our fridge and looked at our the ingredients in our salsa, every single salsa had some kind of I don't know if, if it was a gum or some kind of processed oil or something like that. Now to the best part. My biggest challenge is that I can't find any good breads anywhere. Um, I've tried like so many different breads. Every single one that I find has some kind of junk in it. So I tried to make my own bread last week, gluten-free with just like a bunch of seeds and nuts and stuff like that. And it didn't really turn out great. It was just kind of dense and weird. A bread mix to make a bread and it's amazing. Literally, you it has almond flour, flax meal, sea salt, baking soda, and all good things. Yeah, and then I found like, oh my gosh, I found pizza dough. Like really healthy, all of those same ingredients for the pizza dough, but then there's like oregano, garlic, that kind of thing in there too which is so exciting. This brand, Simple Mills, I found literally every single product that they have is amazing and super clean. I have made all of my own milks. So this is cashew milk and it's literally cashews, a cup of cashews, three cups of water, and a splash of vanilla extract. That's it. For my classroom. It's like a, it's like an art station. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good. Welcome home. Thanks. Good to see you. Did you see the bills crush the bears? I did not. Just doing a little grocery haul. I talked about how like the change in food has changed my life. What yeah. do you think? 
Oh, this girl totally redid her um, whole diet and all the foods that she eats, and um, it's changed it for me too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she just took out all like unnatural stuff and processed oils and um, gluten and dairy, and it just totally changed her world. Yeah, she's a new person. <laughs> I hope it inspired you and if it didn't inspire you that's fine because like if if you have a stomach of steel I always say that like oh man if you can eat anything you want and feel fine then I would do that because that sounds awesome I've never been able to do that hey 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 it's your boy Brennan it's a beautiful Saturday evening right now normally a rainy Saturday would be a big issue for my golf game not that my golf game is very good anyways. Today's different because the Buffalo Bills just fleeced the Chicago Bears in week two preseason. Uh, Mitch Trubisky with his revenge game just absolutely demolished everybody. Man, it's raining. Wow, was that? Woo! Holy moly! I seem to have driven straight into a tornado. As I was saying, I'm on my way right now to pick up some happy hour drinks for the ladies. Um, Ellie and her mom are big vino people, so I'm going to get them a couple dry rosés to have a happy hour before dinner. Uh, so, check back in a second for the wine hall. Made it to the store. I'll be right back. Aside from being absolutely soaked, here's the wine hall. Got a Kim Crawford rose, because I know the ladies like that one. And I went a little crazy. This one was cold. Whispering Angel, Kaz Disclans, Sacha Lihine. So that one should be good. You know, now that Ellie's not around, I can say this. I think Josh Allen should have won MVP last year. Also, how do you become somebody that works the chains on an NFL sideline? If you know, let me know. Also, why is gas 329? And what's the 9 tenths after 329 mean? This is ridiculous. Somebody needs to explain these things to me, because I don't know. Can you wash your clothes in the dishwasher? All right, Al. I got some wine. Hoping you like it. So this one, she oh assured me, is a very good wine. It is. Oh my gosh, I've had it. Okay. This is like I think it's like one of our, ooh, it's cold. This yeah. No. Um, and this one I was having second thoughts about. But okay. let me know. That's the Kim Crawford. I haven't tried it. Score. Okay, Brandon, what's your drink of choice tonight? Beer of choice is New Haze, the Hazy Smoothie Smooth IPA from Southern Tier Brewing Company in Lakewood, New York. How would you rank that among like your what, the New Haze? Yeah, like on, on your rank of like beer, favorite beers, where does New Haze land? New Haze, top 15, I, I would say. But Southern Tier, on the other hand, is my all time favorite brewery. Um, What's your favorite Southern Tier beer? My favorite Southern Tier beer is Live Session. It used to be called Live, but now it's called Live Session. I would show you one, but I don't have any more left. Here's our little baby rep, you rep. That's even a steal. Hello! Hey everybody! Brennan, I'm Ellie's mom! Quick hi! Hey, hey. Dad?
What's up, guys? We're just, uh, <laughs> we finished up dinner. We're taking the little guy for a little, little walk and potty time here. More like a run. Yeah. What'd you have for dinner? Whoa. Well, I had a, a uh, brisket sandwich tonight, and it was really good. <laughs> Happy. I've got a little bit left in the, in the fridge. It's kind of enough with the sandwich. Okay. Cheers, up. Cheers to like one of our last, well, last, close to our last week of summer. <laughs> Brennan. What's up? What are we doing? About to watch uh, The Handmaid's Tale. How was the night? It's a great night. You? It was a good night. I'm feeling just about ready for bed. Reppy? How are you doing? What are you doing tonight? You ready for bed too? Love you. <sighs> Cheers.